नमस्कार इन लास्ट फ्यू क्लासेस वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ टू सॉल्व सेकंड ऑर्डर होमोजीनियस एंड नॉन होमोजीनियस ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू सॉल्व हायर ऑर्डर होमोजीनियस लीनियर ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ लास्ट होमवर्क ओके दिस इज द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ एंथ ऑर्डर लीनियर ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस विद कांस्टेंट कोएफिशिएंट्स here the coefficients are constant that means a not a1 etc an minus 1 are constants okay and similar to second order case we have two cases homogeneous and non homogeneous if right hand side is zero then it is called homogeneous otherwise it is called non homogeneous uh, this is the general form of homogeneous equation with nth order similar to second order case we can define the characteristic or auxiliary equation corresponding to this uh, homogeneous ode is like this lambda raised to n plus an minus 1 lambda raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus a a1 lambda plus a not equal to 0 okay we know that this equation has n roots because this is a nth order polynomial equation and uh, then we have three cases four roots uh, there are real roots complex roots in some roots are non zero multiplicity that means multiple roots corresponding to these roots uh, there is a similar algorithm for finding the general solution for example suppose all the roots are real and distinct that it be lambda 1 lambda 2 etc lambda n then this is the general solution corresponding to these roots c1 e raised to lambda 1 x plus c2 e raised to lambda 2x plus x etc plus cn e raised to lambda n x where this c1 c2 etc cn are arbitrary constants okay consider another case all the roots are real but two roots are same that means lambda 1 with multiplicity 2 okay all other roots are distinct then this is the solution corresponding to these roots corresponding to lambda 1 the solution part is c1 plus c2x into e raised to lambda n that is instead of the constant coefficient we use a first order polynomial okay plus c3 e raised to lambda 3x plus etc cn e raised to lambda nx this is this rule is corresponding to the distinct roots okay suppose this is the case we have only four roots and we assume that all the roots are real and it is clear that the three roots are same that means lambda 1 with the multiplicity 3 and a another root lambda 4 then what is the general solution corresponding to this uh, these four roots please pause a while and think yes this is the solution corresponding to these roots instead of constant arbitrary constant we use a second order polynomial because here multiplicity 3 Okay, so that's why instead of c1, this is c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e raised to lambda 1x plus c4 e raised to lambda 4x. Okay. Okay. Next, we are going to consider a a case with the complex roots. Suppose uh, here we have only three roots. That means a, we consider a third order differential equation. Then we have only three roots. And uh, cases like this, we have a complex uh, pair alpha plus or minus i beta. and a real root lambda lambda 3 then what is the solution corresponding to this root okay what's your answer because we know how to write the general solution corresponding to a complex pair we have seen that in second order case yes corresponding to this complex roots uh, uh, the solution is e raised to alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x as similar to second order case plus corresponding to this real root it is c3 raised to lambda 3 okay okay i will show you one more case uh, complex roots with the multiplicity suppose here this root this complex root repeated two times then what is the change only change is we have to replace all the coefficients by a first order polynomial because here the multiplicity is 2 so we have to use a 2 minus 1th degree that means first degree polynomial so that's why we are replacing the constant c1 by c1 plus c2x and uh, this constant by uh, another first degree polynomial that is c3 plus c4x so this is the idea of writing general solution corresponding to 
different combinations of roots okay there are many other combinations uh, whatever be the roots we can write the general solution using these three basic ideas solution corresponding to real roots corresponding to complex roots and corresponding to multiple roots suppose we have a root with multiplicity k okay then what we will do then we should replace all the arbitrary constants in the general solution by a k minus 1th degree polynomial okay that's a general idea okay let's see some examples okay consider the first problem solve solve y triple dash minus 2 y double dash minus y dash plus 2 y equal to 0 and what is the accelerator equation lambda cube minus 2 lambda square minus lambda plus 2 equal to 0 okay how to solve this third degree polynomial it is clear that the sum of sum of the coefficients is 0 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 2 equal to 0 so it is clear that lambda equal to 1 is a root so lambda minus 1 is a factor so next we are going to divide this polynomial with the lambda minus 1 to factorize this uh, polynomial okay so this is lambda square so lambda square into lambda minus 1 that means it is lambda cube minus lambda square next we subtract so this become minus lambda square minus lambda plus 2 so to get this minus lambda square here we use minus lambda then minus lambda into lambda minus 1 gives minus lambda square plus lambda again we subtract so this become minus 2 lambda uh, plus 2 so this term become minus 2 so minus 2 times this become minus 2 lambda uh, plus 2 so this is 0 so the factorization of this polynomial is equal to lambda minus 1 into lambda square minus lambda minus 2 equal to 0 and what is the factorization of the second order second order polynomial that is nothing here sum should be minus 1 and product on product is minus 2 so this become lambda plus 1 into lambda minus 2 okay so it is clear that the roots are lambda equal to 1 minus 1 and uh, 2 so these are the roots it is clear the roots are real and distinct okay so we use the first rule so here roots are real and distinct so general solution y is equal to c1 e raised to lambda 1x here lambda 1 is 1 so e raised to x plus some c2 e raised to lambda 2x here lambda 2 is minus 1 so minus x plus c3 e raised to lambda 3x that is here lambda 3 is 2 so 2x so this is the general solution corresponding to this homogeneous uh, ordinary differential okay okay second problem solve y triple dash minus y double dash plus 10 y dash minus sorry 100 y dash minus 100 y equal to 0 and uh, given some conditions uh, y of 0 equal to 4 and y dash of 0 equal to 11 and y double dash of 0 equal to minus 299 such problems are called that means this is an differential equation together with a condition and such problems are called initial value problems okay why it is called initial value problem because here this condition specified at a single point at zero zero okay all the conditions specified at a zero y of zero y dash of zero y double dash of zero all are given that's why this problem that's why this is called initial value problem okay and first of all we have to write the characteristic equation or accelerator equation and similar to previous case here the sum of the coefficients is zero so lambda equal to one is a root so lambda minus 1 is a factor so next we are going to divide this polynomial with the lambda minus 1 okay so this become lambda square so lambda square into lambda minus 1 so this is lambda cube minus lambda square so when we subtract this becomes 0 plus 100 lambda minus 100 so here we multiply here we add 100 to get this term so 100 into lambda minus 1 is 100 lambda minus 100 it is 0. So, what is the factorization? 
So this become lambda minus 1 into lambda square plus 100 equal to 0. This is the factorization of this polynomial. And it is clear then either lambda equal to 1 or lambda square equal to minus 100. And this implies lambda equal to plus or minus 10 i. So roots are 1 plus or minus 10 i. A real root and a complex pair. So how to write the general solution? <coughs> okay, corresponding to this real root 1, the part of the solution is c1 e raised to x. Okay, c1 e raised to lambda 1 x. Here lambda 1 is 1. Okay, then what is the solution corresponding to a complex conjugate? e raised to alpha x. What is alpha? Here alpha is 0. e raised to 0 x into uh, another arbitrary constant, let it be c2. c2 cos beta x. What is beta? Beta is 10. So, c2 cos 10, 10 x plus another arbitrary that is c3 sin 10 x. So, this is the general solution of this problem. Okay, we know that e raised to 0, e raised to 0 is nothing, it is a 1. So, c1 e raised to x plus c2 cos 10 x plus c3 sin 10 x. Next, we have to find this c1, c2, c3 using these three conditions. For applying these two conditions, we have to find first order derivative and second order derivative of y of x. So, next we are going to find y dash of x and y double dash of x. Okay, these are the derivatives. y dash of x is like this and y double dash of x is equal to like this. This is c2 into 100. Okay, this is c2 into 10. Okay, this is c3 into 10. This is c3 into 100. Cos 10 next, like that. Okay, next we have to substitute all these conditions. Then what happened? Okay, these are the three given conditions. So, first we consider y of 0 equal to 4. When x equal to 0, what happened? Here, uh, when x equal to 0, e raised to 0 is 1. So, this becomes c1. And what about cos 0? Cos 0 is 1. So, again plus c2. Uh, and what about sin 0? Sin 0 is 0. So, this is equal to y of 0. And what is y of 0? y of 0 equal to 4. So, we have one equation c1 plus c2 equal to 4. Next, we consider the second case y dash of 0 equal to 11. What about y dash of 0? We substitute x equal to 0 in this equation. LHS become y dash of 0, that is 11. What about the RHS? Again, this is c1 because when x equal to 0, this part is 1. And sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So, this is 10 c3. So, plus 10 c3 equal to what is y dash of 0? That is 11. And similarly, if you substitute x equal to 0 in y double dash, then this become c1 minus 100c2, 100c2 uh, equal to minus 299 because this term is 0. Okay. Now we have three equations and three unknown. We can easily solve. So for, for example, we consider 1 minus 3. That means uh, if you consider 1 minus 3, so this become uh, 1 not 1 c2 equal to 3 not 3, which implies c2 equal to 3. Next, we substitute c2 equal to 3 in this first equation. So, this becomes, so 1 implies c1 plus uh, c2 become 3. So, 3 equal to 4. So, c1 equal to 1. Next, we substitute this c1 equal to 1 in second equation. That means second equation implies 1 plus 10 c3 equal to 11. Which implies 10 c3 equal to 10. That implies c1, c3 equal to 1. So, c1 equal to 1, c2 equal to 3, c3 equal to 1. Next, to write the final solution. To write the final solution, we simply substitute c1, c2, c3 in this uh, general solution. So our general solution become c1 is 1, that is e raised to x plus c2 is 3, so 3 cos tan x plus sin tan x. So this is the solution corresponding to this initial value problem, e raised to x plus 3 cos tan x plus sin tan x. Okay. Okay, we are going to solve one more problem for better clarity. Solve y raised to 5, that is fifth derivative, minus 3 y raised to 4, that means fourth derivative, plus 3 y triple dash minus y double dash equal to 0. So, first we have to write the auxiliary equation, then solve. Okay, this is the auxiliary equation. Then it is clear that here lambda square is common, you can take outside. So, this becomes lambda square into lambda q minus 3 lambda square plus 3 lambda minus 1 equal to 0. Then, how to factorize this third degree polynomial? Uh, either you can uh, substitute uh, lambda equal to 1. It is clear that lambda equal to 1 is a uh, root. So, you can divide with the lambda minus 1. Then you can factorize. Otherwise, we have a shortcut. Because this is a standard form. What is the standard form of this expression? This has a closed form. 
yes that is lambda minus one alt q this is nothing actually this is lambda minus one alt q this is of the a minus b alt q so now it is very easy so what are the roots the roots are zero zero corresponding to lambda score equal to zero we have two roots zero zero and corresponding to this factor the roots are one 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 so all the roots are real but repeated so what is the rule for writing the general solution please write yes try yes corresponding to this double root what happened yeah coefficient become yes c1 plus c2x e raised to 0x right yes corresponding to this one here multiplicity is three so what about the coefficient coefficient is a if multiplicity is k then uh, coefficient is a polynomial with the k minus one the degree okay so here multiplicity three so coefficient is second degree polynomial so what is that already we use c1 and c2 so let be c3 c3 plus c4 x plus c5 x square it's a second degree polynomial into e raised to x so this is the general solution corresponding to this problem so yes that is c1 plus c2 because e raised to 0 is 1 plus c3 plus c4 x plus c5 x square and e raised to x okay okay this is uh, your homework thank you